welcome back to my channel this is Pashvika the channel where we talk a lot about the nature lover uh, zero waste and e sustainability lifestyle eco-friendly and all that stuff well in today's video I'm gonna talk about how to reduce the use of the plastic because I know once we know that the plastic is not biodegradable it's not at all good for the nature of course some plastics are do recyclable but not all plastics but again we are creating the waste and it has been accumulating there and it's not biodegradable so we would be asking to ourselves how we can reduce the use of the plastic because somewhere or the other you're gonna find the plastic in fact somewhere you can't even negotiate it because the companies or the businesses are do selling the plastic based products whether you see in the uh whether you see in the food industry or if you're seeing in the uh, normal clothing industries or anywhere, you're going to be seeing the, some sort of the plastic, right? So I'm going to share some tips with you guys that I'm really doing in my own personal life. Hopefully, we're going to help you. So let's start. Before go, pa, consider clicking like button, guys. I do love to that. If you want more such video, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. Whenever I'll gonna upload new videos, you're gonna get notified about it. Could very well grab the sustainability planner, eco-friendly planner workbook that will going to help you become more eco-friendly. It's a PDF download. You can download it. You can fill it out on your screen. The link is in the description box below. You can also visit our website, thenaturelower.info. The link are is in the description box below. With the first thing first, there are could be a lot of the ways in which you can reduce the use of the plastics. But I'll share some tips. The first tip I have for you is to whenever you're purchasing something always read the description of that particular product or the ingredients how it's actually being made whether you are actually purchasing a cloth or a piece of an art or a food material or for industry like for any other purpose whatever product you're purchasing purchasing just read what exactly it's being made from if it's made from the plastics and you're not finding any alternative for that particular plastic then try to go and ask whether this plastic is recyclable or not if it's recyclable then use it because you're gonna find the plastics in the electronic industry and these electronic industries are actually having their electronic cares where you can recycle these uh unused or broken electronic pieces so that's why you do know you do read about the ingredients and the products that have been included in making that particular product so make sure you do your research before actually buying anything so that's the first thing the second tip i have for you which is also coming very very handy is to find the alternative <laughs> yeah it may sound cheesy but that's what the case is like if you are purchasing a jewelry for example try to purchase a jewelry which is made from metal glass or or some kind of other substitute which is eco-friendly which is nature friendly and which is not made from the plastic like you just have to be creative over here you have to keep your open up your eyes and to find the alternative like i if i'm buying something new i'm gonna read the description and then i see like oh it's made from the plastic or it contains the content that is from the plastic which is not eco-friendly then i try to find the alternative like earlier i used to purchase the polymer clay earrings without knowing that these are made from the plastic but then when I started with the clay and art and I came to realization polymer clay is plastic and it's not at all recyclable. So now I'm stopped using these polymer clay jewelry. Instead, I actually make the jewelry or buy the jewelry that's made from the natural clay and use the natural ingredients to color that clay. Like the glazes are not at all uh, harming the environment. So that is the just one random example. Tip I have for you, go for the fillable item instead of the one use items. Let me explain you. Like there are just so many disposables you're gonna see in the market. The paper plate disposables or paper glasses, paper cups, like they are disposable. You can use it for one time and then you have to throw it off. Now this can also be creating the waste for the environment, whether they are made from the paper, plastic, cardboard pieces, wood or whatever it is. Again, it's also creating the waste and we are eco-friendly so we have to reduce the waste as well so try to go with the items or with the stuffs that is are fillable like right now you could see a lot of the items are available in the market that you could use and they can be filled like a water bottle take an example of the water bottle if you're purchasing a package drinking water it's made from the plastic and some of the plastics in the uh, water bottles are do recyclable but again you're creating a waste right you're purchasing one plastic bottle drinking that water and then throwing it off then so on and so forth so you're creating a waste so instead of that have your own water bottle 
or have your own container where you're filling the water simple so try to have the containers or the items that you can use to actually fill them again and again you can reuse them again and again instead of actually throwing them off like a one use product i have for you is to find the recyclable unit near you now that would be a little bit tricky because depending on wherever you're living you might be having a recyclable unit in your city near your house or it would be in some other city in other state or in other country but you could do this you could recycle you could google it to find about the recyclable unit whether you want to recycle the electronics uh food re uh, food recyclable packaging materials like you want to recycle anything go to and find these recyclable units which are recycling the plastic whether these are from the electronics or food or packaging materials or cloth or whatever it is try to find the units which are recyclable instead of actually throwing off these stuffs like that only one example i could give you i was on the station the uh, normal station where you have the normal public transportation they do have their a machine which is actually recycling the packaged water bottles like the drinking water bottles you're getting the plastic ones they have the unit which is actually recycling them so instead of actually throwing them in the dustbin i went to that particular machine and just add my water bottle and just actually recycle it so that was just the example you could be doing it you have to be more creative and googling it and find the recyclable unit near your house or in your city in your country in your state whatever i have for you is upcycle the stuffs so like if you are having an old cloth or old piece of art or anything that is old or broken that you're not using right now try to upcycle them like i want to give you one example over here i was has having a broken crockery now you would be using the crockery items the pottery items in your day to day schedule in your kitchen and you would be having a jewelry from that if it's broken try to take that stuff off and actually make a jewelry from that or actually decorate that piece of art and hang it on your wall like try to upcycle these stuff into beautiful pieces or beautiful materials that you could very well use in your day to day schedule instead of actually throwing them off this could really come handy especially if you are having an old clothing which you are not wearing you can give it to someone who could wear or you could upcycle them into something different like i upcycled my old skirt like i have cycled my old shorts into a skirt i have cycled the old clothing into my tees into my camisole so there could be a lot of the ways in which you could up cycle and that's really a fun and creative diy projects you could google it you could watch the youtube videos of people up cycling them and showing you how to do that or you could find um, if you have a kids you can very well take the help of the kids and tell them to up cycle them the way they want to so hopefully these tips will going to help you reducing the plastic as much as you can obviously there are so many tips in which you can do it and uh, let me know your own tips in the comment section below if you have one to reduce the use of the plastics i would really love to hear from you thank you so much for tuning in i'll going to see you in the next video till then take care bye guys